How's it going everybody? It is me Leo and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're doing a special holiday themed build for the holiday season of 2017. We're going to be speed building my version of Santa's workshop. I am super excited for this you guys. I never planned on making a holiday themed build until I saw a couple of people do their own version of Santa's workshop and I was like oh my gosh. I cannot miss out on this much fun, so I decided to make my own version of Santa's Workshop. So, um, this is basically a Victorian era mansion slash reindeer farm that was specifically designed to be Santa's house. It's not a theme park attraction, it's not like an attraction at like a supermarket or something, it is supposed to be Santa's house. However, I also kind of like made with this my own version of the festive fairy tale, which I will be sharing to you guys a little bit later on, but some technical information about the house. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom. Uh, it has a toy factory slash workshop. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got a stable for the reindeer and it's got a lot of really awesome stuff. It even has like a laboratory as well. So I'm really, really excited for this. I went for kind of like this steampunk Victorian aesthetic. Pretty much the aesthetic that I decided to go for for this one was a mix between kind of like a cross between Tim Burton meets Guillermo del Toro. I'm such a fan of... You know, Edward Scissorhands, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, and Crimson Peak. And if you guys are familiar with those, then you probably would pretty much get the look that I was going for. It's kind of like this Queen Anne Victorian style mixed with steampunk. It's a little bit quirky, it's a little bit um, all over the place, but in, in, in a very concise and in a very structured kind of way where everything looks really random, but in reality, they were all strategically placed to achieve a certain look. Uh, so I w I'm really, really happy with how it all turned out. But like I mentioned earlier, I kind of made my own version of the holiday fairy tale. So I'm going to go ahead and tell that to you guys right now. So. My version goes a little bit something like this. So our story begins sometime during the early 20th century, somewhere around the North Pole region of Northern Europe, lived an old man named Santa Claus with his wife, Mrs. Annabelle Claus, and their nine reindeer. Um, one of their reindeer is the youngest one named Rudolph. Um, he is the runt of the litter, and because of that, he had to um, stay indoors because of his health issues and stuff like that. But pretty much for the most part, they lived a very quiet and idyllic, simple life in the isolated region of the North Pole. Um, so Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus live kind of like this self-sufficient lifestyle where they kind of like appreciate the simple things in life like the changing seasons, each other's company, um, raising animals, um, and they occasionally go to the nearby village to get some supplies, but pretty much for the most part they are all by themselves. However, things take a little bit of a turn when a magical, mysterious incident happens. So one fateful December night, uh, what seems to be a comet strikes Santa Claus reindeer farm. And this event magically gives all of his reindeer the ability to fly. Also, because Rudolph is special, it also gave him the extra trait of having a glowing nose. Um, but this wasn't it. Plot twist! <laughs> um, the comet was not actually a comet, it was actually an alien spaceship. And inside of it were eight little blue men, or in this case, elves. <laughs> and they are pretty much stranded on Earth and they have no way of getting back to their planet. They have no way of fixing 
their ship because of the different technologies and stuff like that. So they made a deal with Santa to help around his reindeer farm in exchange for Santa and Mrs. Claus keeping their secret. Um, they will do everything they can to help around and make Santa's life better, pretty much. Um, so, this was also around the time of the First World War in Europe, and it was pretty much affecting the entire world, and there was so much sadness and grief and loss of hope happening. So, Santa being the very righteous person that he is, decides to do his part in uplifting all of the people of the world and pretty much making sure that they don't remain sad during the Christmas holidays. So he made this plan to um, put the elves to work and make some toys so that he can give them to the, to the sad children of the world. So they basically took parts of the elves spaceship and pretty much upgraded the reindeer farm into kind of like this cyborg hybrid version of like a house slash factory slash workshop thing and that basically gave them the ability to you know make gifts in, a, in an efficient way so that they can give gifts to all the children of the world and because the elves were very crafty they were all like really I guess magical they were able to do that so um, because of that Santa was able to bring joy to the world which he continuously does up to this day many decades later so that is my version of the fairy tale and a lot of the Easter eggs for that will be found in this house um, you guys can see that if you look at the house at a glance, you would see, oh, it's a Victorian house. But if you actually look closer, there's a lot of like steampunky details to it. There's a lot of pipes and tubes and radars and telescopes everywhere. I use a lot of items from Get to Work, which I still stick to my earlier statement I made in a really old video that Get to Work is one of my favorite expansion packs because it just came with a lot of fun items, fun and functional items, um, such as these like um, things for the science career. You know, it came with a lot of really crafty things, and I put a lot of those in this house. Um, and yeah, pretty much, um, you know, it was just a really fun, festive build. Uh, I use a lot of like Christmas cliches like the red color and all of the wreaths and garlands and all of the tinsel and mistletoe and all that stuff. I love this little detail of the crooked staircase at the back which is actually functional. Your sims will be able to get up to that balcony on the topmost level and they can enter that one tower room and that room has kind of like a special place for um, Mrs. Klaus. Um, but yeah, I pretty much um, just had a lot of fun doing this build. As most of you guys might already know, I am spending the holidays at my parents' home, so I am pretty much inside of my bedroom all of the time. Um, unless I am hanging out with our family dog, I'm pretty much just playing The Sims and, you know, regretting life decisions. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. Anyway, um, I just had a lot of fun, you know, and I wanted it to look really kind of like quirky and um, just very quirky, but also like really eccentric. That, that's the word that I was going for. So this is the part where I was adding like these chimneys and I don't know what these are called. These are pipes, I guess. They came with get to work um, and I made them to look like these industrial kind of like mechanical additions to the house that might have been taken from the alien spaceship that crashed but um, I also put a lot of like chimneys and um, you know like uh, what are those called um, vents I guess um, and it's so fun because when you actually light up the fireplaces the chimneys and the vents they actually smoke um, and, and it looks really like industrial 
and yeah it's it it has a really nice effect and you know it really makes the house look alive uh if you have all of those like little details um yeah and that there goes the chimney i think there's three like chimneys there's two smaller ones and there, then there's this one really large one at the back um it's kind of like this um yeah it's it's like this giant chimney i didn't film that actually i had to take that out because of the video it was becoming too long but right now we're working on the reindeer barn um this barn actually has eight stalls for the reindeer now as i mentioned earlier rudolph he has to stay indoors because if he doesn't he's gonna stay sick and all that stuff so um it's a good sized barn um if you guys want to make it functional you can you can actually put like the sleeping areas for the dogs or the cats and stuff and you know i don't think you can keep as many as eight cats and dogs actually now that i think about it but you know you can put like some pet beds and you know the pets can stay over here and this is a little interesting detail that i added i don't know where i I got this idea from but I just had this image in my mind of Santa riding his sleigh and pretty much flying I mean he, he pretty much like slid onto this ramp and that's what made him fly I don't know it's like hard to describe it uh, I cannot speak English right now, but I basically had this vision in my mind where Santa was like riding his leg into this ramp and that's what made him fly basically. It's kind of like a catapult slash, um, you know, rocket thing, whatever, more alien references, but I feel like that image in my mind, I got that from a thing I've seen in my childhood which I just do not remember for some kind of reason but that's the idea that I went with um, for the ramp and then I decided to actually combine the house and the the the, the barn for the reindeer as well um, I don't know why I just wanted it to look like one like solid singular house and I think it actually came out really nicely in the end Earlier I mentioned that I really wasn't planning on making um, a holiday themed build but I've seen a bunch of really awesome people make their own version of Santa's Workshop and I was just like oh my gosh I cannot miss out on all this fun I have to make my own version of Santa's Workshop. My good friend Gavin Sims made two amazing holiday themed builds. He made like this um uh christmas tree farm and he also made like this santa's workshop north pole bills and i was really inspired i was like i, I was stoked i was stealing some ideas from him <laughs> sorry tj giving you credit here but um the very talented simarchy also did like her own version of santa's workshop as well surprisingly all of the versions were very different even though we were all building like the same like santa's workshop everybody actually ended up with like very different looking outcomes and i think that it's because everybody has kind of like their own memories and nostalgia on the holidays and how they celebrate it personally and things like that everybody has like their own personal meaning for them on why Christmas is important for them and for me it's really all about the family aspect of it and um, you know I live in a different city from the rest of my family and every time we celebrate Christmas we're always together we always go home even though it's quite quite a distance away but we always spend time together during the Christmas holidays also it doesn't hurt that Christmas Eve it's literally my mom's birthday so it's kind of like uh, hitting two birds with one stone or two reindeer with one present whatever anyway now we're moving on into the interior and once again I just had a lot of fun um, some people might find it incredibly tacky to have like so many Christmassy themed objects but I don't know I, I it's fine for me it's not really that hideous in my opinion i really liked all of the items um and i think that they were appropriate to use especially since this was supposed to be santa's house like what 
else could it be if not for these like you know festive and Christmassy themed items I think that Santa would probably have these items in his house um so basically we got this very small kind of like living room area it's very nice and cozy um most of the living area is actually on the ground floor the second floor has the toy workshop floor and then the third floor has the apartments for the elves and a secret room for Santa and then we have a little tower floor on the topmost level and that has like a painting workshop for Mrs. Klaus um but yeah I went for predominantly red and green color scheme for the interior and um, I did find this one glitch with the sofas um, they actually disappear if you have the snow mod installed so um, I don't think I've ever used like an actual sofa for this build um, anyway working on the dining area we have a very long dining table that only has two functional dining chairs the rest of the chairs are stools for the elves um, I thought it would be a really nice um, gesture to have all of the elves and all of the you know, all the Klaus family and all of the elves eat together during meal times and stuff. And, you know, I have this image in my mind of Mrs. Klaus um, preparing the meals and stuff like that. It's really fun. So, working on the kitchen, it was so much fun. I really, really love how the kitchen turned out. Um, it came out really nice and steampunky and very quirky as well. I use these green cabinets which I either saw from Simarki or Gavin Sims. I don't know which one of them used these green cabinets, but I used them. I stole that idea. But I never thought about using those green cabinets for like a Christmas themed build until I saw somebody else do them and I'm just like, okay, that's a really good idea. I should probably use that. So the kitchen has this green and kind of like brownish color scheme because a lot of the items I used are like brass items, so they have this like metallic brownish rusty color scheme. Oh my gosh, this freaking cupcake machine, I seriously forgot that this even existed. It came with a base game, I believe, but I never used it ever until I saw this in one of Gavin Sims builds and I was like oh my gosh I totally have to have like a cupcake machine in my build so yeah I, I, I feel so bad for that item because it's like so neglected I don't know why I never <laughs> used that before but I use it now so yeah anyway I don't think I've ever talked about this in this video but yes you guys I am using a mod for this build I've used the snow mod many times before in other builds but I've never really recorded an actual build with the snow mod installed I've only done like uh, you know a house tour video with a snow mod but I've never like actually recorded like a speed build portion with the snow mod installed so yes I did build this with a mod and it will only show up in your gallery if you click the show custom content option so please make sure to do that the last time I built an, an, a build with a mod the comments literally like 80% of the comments were like, how do I find this build? You guys, please figure it out. It's it's not rocket science. I'm sorry if I'm being so shady right now, but literally it annoyed me so much that in my, like two of my most popular builds were like this school and you know, the grade, the elementary school and the high school basically. I built it in 2015. And for some reason, people cannot figure out how to find it in the gallery because I used mods so I had to explain to each and every person who commented on how to find it and it was it got really annoying it's so easy and straightforward and obvious to just click on the show custom content option but people still couldn't figure it out and they had to like spam the comments and stuff like that it was it was really annoying to be honest so what I'll do in this build is I will make uh, no custom content version so that people who are having difficulty finding this on the gallery will also be able to find it using the link that I will put in the description below, okay? If people didn't watch this part of the video, 
then that's their loss <laughs> because I won't be responding to, I mean, I will probably respond to all of the comments asking me where to find it, but oh my gosh, I can like only imagine like 10 million people commenting, where do I find it? How do I find it? I can't find it on the gallery. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like preparing myself for that inevitability, but either way, uh, yeah. So I think that the no CC version will be up in a couple of days, a little bit later than the modded version of this. And also, I also put like all of my hashtags and usernames and stuff in my description. So I still don't get it why people are having such difficulty finding me on the gallery because all of the information is in the description. So um, yeah, hopefully that'll fix things, which Technically, it won't because it's been there for a really long time and people still ask me how to find my stuff on the gallery and stuff like that. I don't know. I might just upload like a media fire link or something if you guys are interested in that. I'd rather not upload it on Mother Sims or Sims Resource because I, there's this one time on Mother Sims that I tried to upload something. I worked really hard. And then it just got rejected and they, they told me to like, you know, oh, do this, oh, edit your description and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? This is like taking too much time. It took them like weeks to process and then it just ended up getting rejected. So no, I'm not uploading this on Mother Sims or on Sims Resource because I just don't have time for it. So I might upload a modded, the modded version on Mediafire just so I can have a link in the description and then hopefully that'll fix people's problems. Anyway. Right now we're working on kind of like the workshop area for the elves, but I want to talk a little bit about the <laughs> downstairs area because I was too busy rambling. Uh, but yeah, we just built Santa's bedroom and Mrs. Claus' bedroom as well. Uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus' bedroom. They live- they, they have the same bedroom. Oh my gosh. Great. <sighs> I feel like this commentary has fallen apart pretty quickly, but whatever. I'm not gonna re-record this because that's just, you know, that's just how I do things. Um, it's as spontaneous as it's probably gonna be, but Santa Claus in Mrs. Claus' bedroom downstairs had a predominantly like red and green color scheme. It's really fun, they had like their own fireplace and four poster bed, very festive. And that's also the bedroom where Rudolph is supposed to stay. Yes, you can have reindeer in The Sims 4, they're actually just dogs with horns, but you can if you want to. So I put a pet bed in that room as well for Rudolph to stay in, and I also had the footage of me furnishing the bathroom, but I had to cut it out for time considerations. But anyway, for the workshop area, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the house. I had so much fun building this. There's something incredibly therapeutic about seeing all of these um, toys being placed. Even though actually placing them individually is literally a pain in the booty because... <laughs> am I allowed to say that? Yeah, but anyway, it's the pain because... Um, I had to size them up, I had to size them down, I had to use the move object sheet, I had to do all of these things just to make them look like they're actually, you know, they're actually physically there, they're not just floating randomly and looking weird, but overall it came out really nice. I put these like blueprints, which was quite fun, I wanted it to look really kind of like realistic, and also, um like a mess <laughs> like the elves are like scrambling to finish all of the um all of the toys in time for when santa delivers them so yeah there's pretty much every possible kind of toy here so it's different toys like vehicles and the teddy bears and there's like toys like bunnies and stuff like that figurines and dolls and pretty much everything that you can think of most of the parts that i actually spent um putting the toys individually i cut out but i did put some footage there because i wanted you guys to see just how much tediousness <laughs> is that even a word but yeah i just wanted you guys to see how tedious it was to actually place all of these toys individually but overall the effect was really good i also put in like a snack area for the elves over there and then over here we have um kind of like the wrapping area the gift wrapping area for the elves so i put three elves over here to work at and then 
there's four elves who are in the actual workshop itself and then there's three elves who are in charge of gift wrapping and then there is another elf who's like in charge of like other things like managing and supervising and things like that checking up checking and making sure that everything is on track and they're all on schedule and looking after the radio so yeah there's eight elves in total um and i did keep them in mind for pretty much the rest of the builds because they also put eight beds upstairs for all of the elves so yeah nobody got left out yay um so this is the part where i actually put like this science lab area i don't even know what to call this but it's kind of like the place where um santa would experiment i guess and come up with like new inventions and new toys and new technologies to you know make toys and to make it even more fun for the children but i put a lot of like sciencey themed items over here and they all came with get to work um the one item that you guys are seeing right now it's like the science thing um you would have to be in the science queue in order to make that functional but the other thing the chemical analyzer one you can actually use it to analyze like metals and rocks and you know plants that you collect so i think that those would be very useful for Santa, you know if he wants to analyze like all of the i guess like all of the um you know colors that he's gonna use for like the dyes for like the toys and stuff he could use those chemical analyzers so that's pretty much my idea for having like a laboratory and stuff <laughs> over here is supposed to be the elves bedroom it's the attic so i don't know if that's if there's like a code of ethical conduct for making you know making um like apartments for elves like maybe the elf workforce will have something to say about that but yeah i put them in the attic i gave them these toddler beds which were super cute um and i, I don't know if you guys want to you can actually make eight toddlers and you know put them to work if they can <laughs> they probably can't but a good alternative for this would probably be to make it into like a an orphanage that would be really interesting but this secret room right here can only be accessed by using a secret door uh you have to pass by the elves bedroom though so that's a thing but there's a secret like bookcase door that opens up to this like secret Stannis room and stuff and um it's where he reads all the letters and basically my idea for that is that um, the letters come by fireplace. I know that's really weird because the fireplace might burn the letters, but in Harry Potter, I think it was, the letters came via fireplace. Um, so that's also the thing I did because I'm very referential and I'm incapable of coming up with original content, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I think we just decorated this, the barn stable area for the elves. Uh, no, not the elves. Oh my gosh, like literally worst thing ever. No, it's not for the elves, it's for the reindeer. But basically, the, there's like a little bridge that the people can cross to get to the observatory if they're coming from the gift wrapping section. And the observatory is actually functional. Also, um, there is this little um, pipe above like the like the sack that Santa uses to take his presents with him you guys will see it in a little bit but um basically my idea for it was for the elves to just drop the, the presents down and then it'll it'll automatically be in Santa's sack so that he can bring it to wherever he's going and there we go that's that pipe that i was talking about so basically that pipe is supposed to drop all of the presents down to santa's bag and you know that therefore he can take all the presents to wherever to wherever he needs to go it's really hard to explain i don't know why um it's probably because i'm struggling with english i mean to be fair i'm not struggling with english Obviously, I'm very comfortable talking about it, but it's just so hard to talk about the thing in my mind that I want to say. But basically, 
yeah, all of the gifts are supposed to drop into this bag thing, and all of them pass through this like little tunnel thing, or like this little pipe thing. You guys get what I mean, there's also like a sleigh, so all they have to do is pretty much attach the sleigh to the bag, and then Santa can just put on his reindeer, and they can all use the ramp to propel them to fly, and you guys get what I mean. Yeah, anyway, so this right here is like Santa's little um, training area for the reindeer, I guess. I made it more as like a pasture. I put like a little shed for the reindeer and pretty much it's more of a pasture that I imagine, you know, during the springtime, the reindeer could like graze here and, you know, eat some hay or whatever. Um, there's also like some training area for the pets actually, especially for the dogs I believe, so it is very functional if you want it to be functional, so that should be that. Um, I'm also putting some terrain paint over here just to make things a little bit more realistic. And in case you guys didn't notice, there's 8 stalls for the reindeer, and then there's a sleeping area for Rudolph, making it 9 reindeer in total for this house. Uh, but yeah, I also put these like searchlights? No, these aren't searchlights, whatever. These lights that make it look like, you know, it's easier to see the ramp when Santa is taking off or when he's landing. I just thought about that. It would make it a little bit easier. And I also put like this um, kind of like satellite thing. It came with get to work once again and you can use it to get like use neighborhood hive mind and contact aliens. It does actually work but I noticed that there was like some glitchiness happening, like my game crashed a couple of times when I tested out the house, um, but I think that's just because of the snow mod, so since I'm gonna be making like a no CC version, you guys shouldn't have really a problem with it, but yeah. It's so much fun because most of the things in this are actually like functional, you know, you can make it into like a toy, to toy store or workshop or whatever if you really wanted to, but yeah. It, it does work. All of the workbenches work. All of the functional skill and hobby items actually work as well. So I made sure that they do work. Um, I constantly tested out everything while I was building it. And I was having so much fun testing everything actually. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's a testament to how much fun this build is to play in, but pretty much doing the landscaping kept it pretty simple. Just threw in a bunch of like pine trees and alpine looking foliage and just finishing off the build by putting in this like starry area to top off our uh, steeple over here in the main tower and it's like the mirror star. It looks really nice and yeah, that should pretty much be it for this build, so I think this is gonna be my last video for 2017, and oh my gosh, where has the year gone by? I cannot believe it, but this is going to be the end of this video, so before I go, I just want to wish you guys a happy, happy holidays. Once again, you guys know how much I love you all, and thank you so much for everything this past year, and I'm looking forward to spending more time with you guys next year. Something just exploded, oh my gosh. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider supporting the channel by liking the video and also subscribing because it really helps out a lot. But I'm gonna go right here, so hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next year. Bye-bye!